CataractCoach.com. Quiz time. What complication will happen next? Look at that arrow. What do you notice? Let's look at this case in some detail. Loading up a lens here. It's a single piece acrylic lens. Placing it in the injector. Putting both haptics on top of the optic. Let's push this down the barrel. And that looks pretty good, right? I'm going to put this into the injector. And we'll click in the cartridge. And as it goes down the plunger, look what happens. The trailing haptic now is no longer tucked on top of the optic. That's okay. We can deal with that. And here's how we're going to deal with it. We're going to zoom in, put the lens in. What instrument am I going to use to hold the paracentesis? The chopper as usual? No. I see that haptic that's right there. So I'm using forceps just to quickly hold it here. I want the forceps ready in my other hand so that when I deliver this lens and that trailing haptic is stuck partly outside the eye, I can use those forceps to help bring that haptic in. So here we go. Now I can use the forceps, grab that haptic. There it is. And now we can get the lens inside the capsule bag. We want to be very careful not to damage that trailing haptic. So we'll use our chopper here, dial in this lens, making sure that the entire lens, both haptics and the optic, are going to sit securely within the capsule bag. There it goes, nicely positioned. We'll rotate that a little, get the other haptic to open up. And then time to remove the viscoelastic with the IA probe. You can see this patient does have a little bit smaller pupil. And you can see the reflections of the rings. This is a trifocal IOL. So here comes the IA probe. I'm going to place that inside the eye. Remove our viscoelastic and proceed. So the rest of the case will go smoothly and go normally. So it's important that you know how to load the lens into the injector. And even if you know how to do it, and you've already done it thousands of times, there are going to be the rare ch cases like this where the lens may not go into the injector just perfectly. And you may have to make an adjustment on your own. In this situation, we could tell before we ever put the injector tip inside the eye, we saw that trailing haptic had unfolded and was going to be caught in the cartridge and up against that plunger. So to prepare for that, Instead of using the chopper in my second hand to help deliver the lens and fix it the eye, I got the forceps, McPherson forceps or tying forceps, whatever you're using to load the lens. We got those forceps so that when I deliver the lens, I could then use the forceps to grab that stuck haptic and get it into position. Finishing up here, taking out that last little nuclear chip, sealing up the incisions, this case looks great. Interesting point. Glad you liked it. And I hope you got the quiz right. Thanks for watching.